Good morning, everyone, from Rainex. <laughs> from Texas. <laughs> I had rain and Rainex on my mind. Oh my gosh. I to turn these up. Yeah, good morning from Texas. The never ending rain continues in Texas for me. My little cloud that follows me and everything. Uh, today we got a. I've got a jump start because in order to get to where I'm going, it's a little complicated. Hopefully I don't have to make a U-turn because I'm on the Boulevard Peninsula here down in South Texas. We are like three blocks from the Gulf of Mexico and there's no road up here in 14 miles. So hopefully the ferry's running. Hopefully the ferry allows RVs and uh, I'll, get a, I'll get a cost. A little, little tricky to see, the conditions aren't ideal with the rain, but trucking on, man. You know the deal. All right, what does the sign say? Cruise terminal entrance. I'm not going on a cruise. A lighthouse over there. I love lighthouses. Maybe I am going on a cruise. I don't know what I'm doing. Ferry rides can be stressful when you don't know what you're doing. Hey, you cut your propane off for me? Sure, bud. As you heard, he had me turn off the propane, which you got to do in most tunnels and I guess ferries. Yeah, it makes sense. And advised me to go to lane two. So, feeling good now. They do have a whip. Uh, restriction. He asked me outside uh, how wide I am. I'm like, dude, I'm on a diet. I'm down to a 32 inch waist. <laughs> he didn't think that was very funny. Like, no, I'm 98 inches. If you don't know how wide your RV is, most of them max out about 102 inches for like the biggest wide fifth wheels. But Miranda, well, actually, she's about she's about 98 and a half. Just looking out. I don't see a ferry. I forgot to ask how long it's going to be. But this one, the Boulevard Ferry, runs two boats all the time, 24 hours a day. Sometimes they even run three boats, apparently, if it's really busy in the morning or afternoon or a holiday weekend or something. But right now, we got two. And we're just going to be patient. Ah, made another fresh cup of coffee. A couple key things I forgot to mention. Cost. <laughs> this ferry is free. There's no cost from the De Texas Department of Transportation. It is a free ferry to get over this peninsula island. So that's unique. Put that into perspective, in other words. I paid once $72 one way on a ferry with my RV back in Washington State. So good on you. But also, they probably don't want to cut off businesses on both sides of the peninsula and island. You know what I mean? It actually does make sense. but This rain is just something else. I tell you what, I'm not complaining, I'm just pointing it out. We together, you and I on this channel, have witnessed record-breaking consecutive days here of rain in Texas. Can't plan this kind of stuff. All you can do is battle through it, limit outdoor activities, and then when the sun comes back, you just rejoice and you just soak it in, you know? That's what you do. Aren't those palm trees beautiful off in the distance? Yeah. That wind is blowing this rain just straight sideways on me and rocking the RV a bit. <laughs> All right, so it's been about 40, well, it's been 45 minutes since I turned off my propane and the ferry's back. They are getting ready to unload the ferry and once that gets done, I assume we will start loading onto the ferry here. So don't be in a hurry, as I've mentioned and shown several times. If you're riding a ferry with an RV, you just have to be in no rush that day. Because it could be anywhere between... Remember that one time, I think I was up in Washington State, the uh, tide, you can't, it's harder to load an RV on low tide. So they made me stand back and wait for two more ferries after that. So it turned into a three and a half hour day, that day. Today, under an hour. I guess that's the uh, fast pass lane over on the left. So those guys just got here and they get to board first. That's really weird. Now they're boarding the other lane that got here after me, too. 
it doesn't really matter as long as most of us get on this one. <laughs> but, uh, strange order. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Show me where to go. We are headed to the John W. Johnson Ferry. It looks like they're taking us to the left, so I'm hugging the right so that I don't less chance of bottoming out, but it doesn't look like we're going to anyway. Just got to wait till the last minute here to know which way they want me to go. Here we go, to the left. To the left, to the left. Thank you. That little bird on the tailgate of the truck. All looking for food. I ain't got no food, buddy. I am in a post-bread life. <laughs> so this one uh, is not like any other one I've been on. You don't get out of your vehicle. There's no upstairs to go drink coffee or get food or anything from. You just sit in your vehicle and wait patiently. I don't even know on its wide angle if you can see, but... Yeah, you can. You can see land over there. That's where we're getting to. I gotta take the ferry. Miranda, don't float. She doesn't do good on salt water, so. All right. <laughs> These birds cracked me up. Look at this guy. Look at this little guy. We're moving, guys. We just left the pier. Can you see the, the rocks that we're passing by? Oh, yeah. We're ferrying. Look at all the birds. They're so confused. They're like, hey, our land is leaving. Our land is leaving, man. I take that back. You are actually allowed to get out of your vehicle while on this very short ferry. Uh, so there's like the kids are coming out of the bus and going upstairs to look on the top deck and going to the front and the back of the ferry if you want to. So that that is an option if you want to. But I don't have that option because I'm kind of stuck in the RV. My side door, there's only four inches between the side of my RV and the next car. So... If there were an emergency, I'm going out the window anyway. <laughs> it's no big deal. This this is a very fast ferry. You can see we're almost there. And then it's going to be the same, you know, 20 minutes to unload, another 15, 20 minutes for the next batch to load back up and go back to the other side. So it's an easy, quick ferry. But I will tell you one thing. I have decided that going on a cruise is not something I'm definitely as excited about anymore because even just this, we're barely even moving. It is making me motion sickness. Like... I should have taken a pill. I did not think ahead, and I'm not feeling fantastic, even on this short trip. These birds have found something interesting in the back of this guy's pickup truck, though. Look at them all, digging through styrofoam, food bins, and everything. This guy's just got a truckload full of garbage. Brilliant, dude. <laughs> all right, almost time to go. Speed limit seven on the way out. They're unloading the first row here. Yep. No chance of bottoming out. We're almost perfectly level here, so I feel good about that. All right, bye, birds. Oh, my gosh. It's going to hold me up. All right, here we go. I'm just watching my tail swing because I'm really close to the cars on my left. Uh, we're clear. Very close to his mirror, but we made it. All right, welcome to Galveston, y'all. Here we go. Gonna head on down to uh, Padre Island. I'm about 280 miles away. I'm gonna do, put on some miles. My butt is numb. I'm so tired of driving. I can never be a long haul trucker. Unless they got really special comfortable seats. I gotta get up every hour and stretch. Can't do that in a, in a big semi truck. We're just about three miles from the South Padre National Seashore entrance here. It's been several years since I've been back, and I'm gonna try something different this time. All right, so coming up on our right here is the Padre Island National Seashore sign, managed by the National Park Service. I'm not gonna get out and take a picture. 
go up here. I want to. I want to get settled. I gotta get checked in. Oh, they have changed this in the last two, three years since I've been here. This is all new and updated. Looks really nice. Let's see if my pass works here. Hi there. I was looking for the weekly camping pass. All right. And does that do anything? Yes, it does. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. Thanks. So, not sure if you heard that, but last time I was here, and it still is, it's $25 for a week stay. And you can camp with that $25 right on the beach on the sand. One of the uh, very few places that you can do that. However, with the America the Beautiful Pass, you actually get in for free. So technically, I get a week of camping free. However, because there's still rain in the forecast tonight and stuff, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look at this campground, this one campground up here. It's $14 a night to stay there with no hookups, but it's off the beach. So we'll go check it out first. All right, time to thank you for laying down, Jax, so I can see. It's the sign say campground next left, right here. Okay, let's go check out the uh, campground here. By the way, off to our left here is the dump station and drinking water, I think? I can't remember exactly. I can't believe that, they're full. <laughs> they are literally full, guys. I did not expect that. I'm gonna go back the other way where I didn't turn right. You've got these sites off to the right and left, one, two, and three, but it says tent camping only. So you park your vehicle on the right, you tent cam off, off the left here under the picnic tables. All right, came down the other loop and it is also full. All that is left is tent camping sites. So again, you got three tent camping sites to the right then you park your vehicle where this Mercedes is parked. So I guess we're all going to the beach. Before I turn left though, there are three sites down here that have occupied signs on them. And there's nothing there, like not even a camp chair. You know what, I wanna say something cause I'm pretty sure it's the neighbors holding their spot. They'll be here this weekend, but nobody can use it until they get here, so. And we're on sand. Oh boy. I honestly have not even had time to check for tides yet. This is not high tide. You can see how this is still wet in front of me. Pretty much all the way up to this class A off to our right. The water will come up to his tires. Otherwise, uh, not too many people down here. Well, coachman trailer right here. He is parked up in the very soft stuff, which is kind of scary but he's got a four wheel drive truck to pull out. Look, I don't know if you guys can see over there, it's, it's bad. But you gotta get back that far with your RV, otherwise the tide will come in on you. So, I think it opens up a little bit down here. Oh look, I got no phone service again. I remember that from Padre Island. There's another little trailer right here. He's, he's moved way back. He is definitely safe from the water right there. I'm going to slow down and start looking since nobody's camping down here. I kind of have it all to myself. Well, hey, I'm good, guys. I'm parked. I'm happy. I'm even level right here. I got my, my own little spot here. I don't care where you guys are camping right now. You ain't got a view like this. I'm boondocking for free 99 right on the Gulf of Mexico out here. I checked the tides. We're gonna have a high tide here at 612 in about two hours. I think it'll be dark though, but still, we'll be able to see what the highest tide looks like. I'll just uh, show you here real quick. This is the stuff I was trying to avoid. This is just, you, you don't wanna drive in this. You wanna stay in the hard packed. And I had to get up on it a little bit with my front tires there. I'm in it, the soft stuff. And then in the rear when I backed up, again, I'm, I'm in the soft stuff, but I can get out. 
I just love it out here. I have missed Padre Island more than anything. It's windy and cold. You wouldn't be able to hear me without that Rode Video Mic Pro on top, believe me. But you know, tomorrow there's some sunshine expected, so sandals and going in the water, the ocean, the gulf. Look at me over there. That's awesome. Also, you'll notice where I parked. I, I get to go quite a bit farther back because that, that line that's right there, it comes back for this little inlet right here so that I'm quite a ways off of where other people are camping. But I'm the last RV on Padre Island out here. As you look the other direction, there's a couple cars down there. Nobody else is camping down there. It's empty. I'm the last camper as far away, which means I'll wake up tomorrow morning and there'll be an RV parked right here in front of me with their jet. Hiking up the dunes, hiking, hiking, hiking. We should have a view. Huh. More dunes and no cell phone towers. But it is a cool view from up here. So we pan around and get Miranda in the shot here. Oh, she looks great. Doesn't she look great, guys? Yep, camping by myself. Gonna put out my couch slide, uh, set up the satellite TV, cause south is easy right towards the water. And that's all I'll have for a few days, just satellite TV. If I want to take the bike into town, into Corpus Christi, I'll be able to get some Wi-Fi. And then I can write down all the tides just so I can be aware. Sometimes they're higher than other nights, so. Oh yeah, getting some live TV here with Dish, I knew that was gonna happen, but another surprise, those of you who have been out to Padre Island out here know there's no service out here. There's, there's never been any service. Nothing has changed. You can go to the visitor center and borrow some of their Wi-Fi. Oh, I've got service. I've got three bars of service, guys. Decided to finally, and I haven't talked about it much, but decided to uh, activate the booster, the RF solid booster that's on the roof and the interior antenna. I've got my hotspot device right here, bringing in three bars of service. And I generally tell, have been telling people, it doesn't create service out of nowhere. It just amplifies a weak signal. Well, in this case, it pretty much is creating cell service out of nowhere. So I've already uploaded a picture to Instagram. I've been on social media a couple times. I've uh, checked YouTube comments and interacted with a few people. So um, I'm getting Wi-Fi, getting, not Wi-Fi, well, yeah, I'm getting Wi-Fi through cellular boost. So pretty cool. But anyway, I gotta do my workout and get another meal in. I'll cut back in tonight. I do have the outdoor light. I just wanna show you, we'll all see for the first time how far the tide comes up to my tires. Mm -hmm. Does my face look pink, red, pink? Oh my gosh, guys. And turn the camera around. Look at this sunset. Look at this sunset. It is painting the entire beach pink. Gosh. I'm just like, holy cow. It's gorgeous. We didn't actually get any sun today, but it's setting and doing something magical over there. It's just stunning. By the way, it is 6.04 p.m., which means we're at high tide right now. So there's my RV, and there's still a three-lane highway here before the water hits, so, so we're fine. This was not a major high tide like some other nights. I've been here to Padre Island three times, two meetups and once by myself, and all three times the tide water came up to the rubber on my tires, and it was terrifying. So I'm glad there's no drama or anything like that going on. Didn't get stuck in the sand or anything, so everything's fine. But still, there is sunshine in tomorrow's forecast, even though it's also going to rain. I decided to stay out here for a few days since there's just no cost. And yeah, just be patient with me, guys. I, I love this place. I think if you are out here, you you'd love it too, if you know me, if you're like me. So um, the good thing is I get a little more creative uh, when I'm by myself and enjoying, enjoying things. So you'll get some some better videos for me from here till I leave and yeah so from Jackson and I we will see you very soon you guys be well bye guys